This video is going to be very helpful for those that uh, leverage uh, JWT to connect to Adobe uh, for access for the developer console. So uh, for those who are familiar with Adobe and connecting to um, Adobe I.O. or the Adobe Developer Console, uh, may be very familiar with JWT. Uh, historically, that has been the only way um, that tools like Mia Prova uh, could connect to Adobe I.O. Uh, via certificate. And this is something that we've had in place for many, many years. In fact, uh, I think Mia Prova is probably one of the early solutions to leverage this integration uh, that connects for both Adobe Target and Adobe, uh, Adobe Analytics. And so historically, up until now, uh, or very recently, organizations would connect to Mia Prova like this. We would provide a public certificate they would upload their certificate to the Adobe Developer Console within here, within a particular project. And that connection uh, would live for uh, one year, 365 days. And so every, every year, Mia Provo would have to let organizations know, hey, your certificate is about to expire. Uh, please go ahead and upload a new one. And Mia Provo has a an automated process for that where organizations can come here, download a new certificate and confirm that it works across the various connections to Adobe. Uh, Adobe has recently uh, started the process to deprecate this connection. We are big fans of that. Uh, we, we are big fans of uh, OAuth and we use it for several of our other integrations. So we were thrilled here at Mia Prova to learn that Adobe um, is going in this direction. Uh, they're, they're not cutting the service off um, anytime soon. You have well over a year. Uh, but we wanted to kind of get ahead of it uh, just to make things easier, to stop clients from having to update these certificates within uh, Mia Prova every year. Um, and, and, and those of you familiar that, le that leverage uh, JW certificates, might uh, this might look familiar as well. This is how Adobe uh, lets you know. These emails go out, let you know that, hey, this particular project in the Adobe Developer Console or Adobe AO is set to expire on this particular date and time, which is pretty cool. Um, so with the new OAuth service that they have in place here, this OAuth server, server, server to server credential, uh, there's no need to uh, update the certificates uh, every year. Um, permissions are managed within the uh, Development Console, so you have everything in place and it makes the process so much easier. And so me and Provo, I thought I would uh, put together this quick video to show you how easy it is to actually update uh, the certificate or update the connection into Adobe. So here is our Mia Prova production account where we're actually using Adobe Target uh, in, in various ways. We've got Mia Prova integrated here with various services. Um, but our certificate is actually set to expire, and it's great timing because Mia Prova just updated our integration to support JW or uh, OAuth server-to-server -server integration, which is wonderful. Um, and to show you how that all looks, place here, here's here's all that's required. So I'm going to jump over to the Adobe Developer Console. So this is the project that is expiring, and you can see the credential here. Attention is needed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to jump. To the credentials over here i could you know click on this within here so we're going to start the migration process within here so we've got the jwt and and all the different information there i'm just going to add a new connection the uh, oauth uh, server to server credential so i'm going to add this connection within here uh, let's see that perfect okay i'll make bring the whole thing in here okay so that step has been completed that is on here so now an OAuth server to server credential has been added to the project so i'll go to that credential right here um see it within here here's the information the access code uh all the information that it created um and then i will download um that connection oauth authentication right there so I'll download that. I will upload that to Mia Prova. Be sure to select the OAuth server-to-server -server integration here. So I'm gonna select the file. It brings all the necessary information here. I'll hit save. Uh, it's updating the information on the Mia Prova server. And in a, just a couple seconds, we'll be able to verify Adobe Analytics connection as well as the Adobe Target connection. 
um, because I have in terms of like the project overview, you can see we have, do, 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 do. we can have Adobe Target, Adobe Analytics. So we have the legacy uh, JWT connection as well as the new OAuth connection uh, that we just updated. So come back over to Mia Prova, verify analytics, perfect. Verify Adobe Target, perfect. So yeah, just that easy. So we have the old JWT, but it's deprecating. Uh, we just added the new OAuth service right there. So I can come over here and I can safely uh, remove the JWT uh, connection that's placed. So here it is, the JWT. I'm going to review. I'm going to delete that. So there it is. So that one's good. Uh, do, 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 do we recommend waiting? Um, no, we can confirm and delete that. Project name. So the name of this project is Mia Provo Prod. Delete old credential. And then we're done. So yeah, it's uh, that simple and, and to validate, we already verified that things look good on analytics and Adobe target side. We could check the live dashboard here. Everything's looking okay. We can check uh, data. Here's an automated personalization activity. Yeah, we're recording and, and retrieving data just fine. Let's take a look at a live activity using A for T data from Adobe Analytics. You can see we're generating the graph report, reporting just fine. So yeah, there you have it. So very easy to uh, migrate over to uh, OAuth uh, within any JWT connection. All new Mia Prova customers going forward will use the OAuth server to server connection. Uh, it's easier to manage and it kind of aligns nicely with our work front integration as well. So there you have it. If there's any questions, please don't hesitate to